Hey, we're here in the Thunderdome. Desert Hills gets it done. They go to 4-0 in region play. I'll tell you what, it was a game Snow Canyon team. They stayed in this thing for two and a half quarters, but in the end, it was Desert Hills. A lot of easy buckets, and they're able to put the game away with a 27-13 advantage in the third quarter. They pull away for the double-digit win. We'll talk with Coach Turley and some of the players coming up in just a minute. Post game, I'm with Coach Wade Turley of the Desert Hills Thunder. Uh, big win for you guys, especially uh, with that great third quarter you had. There must have been one heck of a halftime speech, Coach. What was it? I wasn't real thrilled with how we played first half. You know, I give Snow Cannon a lot of credit. I knew they were going to come in fired up and uh, giving us their best shot because they – you know, they needed a win, and, and, uh, and their coaches do a great job with them, and they, I knew they were going to come and bring a lot of effort and energy. But uh, we just told the kids we expect more, really. You know, they got to play a little bit better in the post, and uh, we got to play a little smarter offensively, and we had too many turnovers the first half. That third quarter, the kids come out, shared the basketball, and, uh, you know, we made a nice run there. I had you guys shooting 55% for the game, which is a great number, you know, for any basketball team to shoot that high. And then 7 out of 15 uh, from deep. Uh, was it a lot of it uh, you guys hot? Was it a lot of it uh, you guys just getting easier buckets? I think just give, giving up a good shot for a great shot. You know, there, we passed up some good shots, but the kids made the extra pass. We love the inside out three, and we got two or three of those, and it just makes your shooting percentages go up when you take smart shots. I interviewed Max Mills a minute ago. Uh, he had a pretty good game, and you know Max is a guy that uh, I'm guessing you're counting on to do a lot of the dirty work. He's just such a tough competitor, very scrappy kid. Uh, we can put him really on anybody, but he he's our best on-ball defender. Uh, super tough, scrappy kid that uh, does a lot of little things, like you said, that helps our team be successful. And he hit a couple of big shots tonight, which he's capable of doing. I think Quincy had 10 or 12 in the third quarter. Uh, was there a particular focus to make sure he got the touches and got the shots in the second half? He was motivated. Obviously, he sat out most of the second there with foul trouble, and so he was motivated to come in and help us. He saw that we were struggling offensively, especially, and uh, like he's done throughout this year at times, you know, he takes his team and he says, hey, guys, you know, let's run the offense through me. Let's, let's uh, you know, let's make a run here. And he's, he's a guy that kind of helps us get going. So he was motivated, and we knew we needed to get him the basketball for our team to be successful. All right, great win. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you very much. We're with Logan Hokinson, uh, who came off the bench and really did a nice job. I think scored seven points and, and helped, uh, helped the Desert Hills beat Snow Canyon today. Logan, what did Coach talk about at halftime? Because you guys played so much better in the third quarter. Yeah, he just wanted us to play our game and slow things down and uh, get stops and um, make sure they don't shoot threes and stuff like that. You guys shot a very high percentage. I think it was 55% for the game. Uh, a lot of that is, is uh, of course, good shooting from outside, but you guys got a lot of easy shots too, especially in the second half. What was the key there? Um, going through our uh, right offense. Uh, since they're running a zone, we have right offenses for zones, and they got us open opportunities. You sound like a coach. Are you, are you not a coach's son, are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, sounds good. Hey, congratulations. Good win for you, man. Thank you. We're talking with Max Mills post game here as Desert Hills gets the win over Snow Canyon. Uh, Max, uh, you were a little more active offensively today. To, was that in your mindset? Yeah, I was just kind of in warm ups, just kind of thinking about coming out strong and focusing really on my shot during warm ups. And I was feeling it and I was hitting a couple of rows while I was shooting, so I was feeling pretty good. Everybody talks about Snow Canyon being a little bit down this year, but I'll tell you what, for at least a half and, and most of the third quarter, they were hanging right in there uh, uh, with you guys. What was the key when you were able to finally pull away? Um, the big key for us is first half we weren't really getting rebounds, they were getting second opportunity chances, so when and, uh, we went in the locker room and got all fired up to get rebounds. So Get on the glass, is that what the coach said? Yep. <laughs> Did he write it on the board and everything? Yeah, yeah wrote, we wrote it on the board, challenged us, got, got in our faces, got a little fire in us. So. Uh, everybody knows Marcus McCone is, is like the sharpshooter on the team, but you, you got a pretty good shot from outside too. Do you ever? Do you guys have like a little horse game going or anything like that? <laughs> yeah, me and him challenge each other in practice sometimes. So, so who's really the best shooter? He's a pretty good shooter. He's pretty hard to beat. So <laughs> I love Marcus. He's a good shooter. Did you guys think you'd be four zero at this point? And and how does it feel? Um, I've I believed all the way that we could do, we could eventually do this. So I'm excited for us and where we're headed. So. All right, Max Mills with a big win for Desert Hills. Thanks, Max. Thank you.